hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to use resize columns or rows action in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have now subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started so first of all i will expand the excel and then go to advanced section and then from here i will choose resize columns or rows in excel worksheet in this action we will use the excel instance and after that we will specify the target whether we want to resize the column or row right and after selecting that we will also specify whether we want to resize single column or single row or a range of rows or columns or all available whether it is columns or rows and then we will specify the type whether we want to do it out of it or we want to specify the custom size so this field is going to accept the integer value right when you specify the column here you can specify the column name or number this is the excel worksheet on which we want to use that resize action in power automate desktop since my excel worksheet is already open i will use attach to running excel from here i will choose the document name and instance will be stored in the excel instance variable then i will click on save after that i will choose the action which is resize columns or rows in excel worksheet as you can see excel instance has already been selected now this time i want to resize the column and let's say i will use single column i will give the name of the column and then i want to specify the size let's say 40 i will click on save and then i will run the bot execution has been completed and here you notice that the column width is now 40 right similarly if you want to resize the rows i will choose the row and selection range is going to be single i will give the row number as one custom size will be let's say 30 click on save and run the bot execution has been completed and if you notice that the row number one its size has been changed to 30 now if you want to change the a range of rows in that case you need to specify the, the start row let's say i want to resize the row from row number two and till 12 custom size it is going to be 30 again i will click on save and then i will run the bot execution has been completed now you can see that all the rows have larger width now let's say i want to do the auto fit so i will just choose auto fit click on save and then i will run the bot execution has been completed i will check the excel file now you can see that all the rows are in normal position similarly if you want to do the auto fit of the columns i will just choose it as the columns and then i will choose let's say all available and then auto fit then i will click on run now the execution has been completed i will check the file and now you notice that all the columns are in auto fit position consider that now you want to dynamically specify the last row or column so to do that what you will have to do is you will have to choose get first free column or row right this action is going to give you the first free row or column i will click on save and now i will choose resize columns here i will select range the start column is going to be let's say one and the end column we will choose as first free column minus one right because if you will choose the first free column it will give the number of that column which is empty but we want to get the number of the column which has the values right in the resize type i will choose custom and here i will specify 20 click on save and then i will run the bot 
execution has been completed i will check the file now you can see that all the columns have same size which is 20. so this is how you can use resize columns or those actioning power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day